Hashtaga. One, two, three, four. Yes! Uni players, Robert here. We've arrived at the finale of the Half Demon Dragon Slayer saga, but more importantly, it's a Sudakai. That means you can actually grind for Y points without worrying about stamina. There's a lot going on though, so let's get to it. First of all, you get 8 Yokodori tickets for your first login. What's up with that? We'll find out soon enough. As usual in this type of event, you need to choose whether you're going to play in stealing or normal mode. Stealing is on the left and allows you to steal from other players and to be stolen from. Normal is on the right. You can change from normal to stealing at any time, but you can't change back. I'm starting in stealing mode because you get a little bit more Y points that way and I'm nearly broke. There is a lot of story and info here. I'm going to shortcut most of it and we'll take care of it during the event. There's a new watch, the Dragon God watch. We're playing a Sudokai, so there's treasure to get. There's an impossible stage with Black Dragon and a bunch of bonuses. Let's cover the bonuses. Dragon God Ryuda deals more damage against Black Dragon and Dragon Robe Elder Chief Priest Whis gives a damage bonus against Black Dragon to event Yokai. Also, the Dragon God Watch reduces damage on the Black Dragon stage. Evil Darkness Dragon Shu deals more damage against Dragon Robe Whis, reduces damage from him, and raises the drop rate of Watch Fragments. Dragon Robe Fukuri Yu deals more damage against Illusion Dragon and reduces damage from him. Dragon Robe Blizzaria deals more damage against Illusion Dragon as well. Death Carver's Hardy Hound does more damage against Childhood Ryuta and reduces damage from him. Death Carver's Rubius J and Dragon Robe Uma Wyvern King have stealing bonuses. Lastly, Black Dragon provides a Y point bonus. The map is funky, I'm just gonna say it. Bosses all over the place, weird direction changes, and I think we might actually be inside the Black Dragon. Let's check out the crank. We've got six new event yokai in the crank, including Ryuta ZZZ rank form. They were all raid up at the beginning, which means none of them had a particularly good raid. Dragon Robe Blizzaria is a charming SSS rank popper. Her skill keeps your soul meter partially filled after using her soul smith. If you watch closely, I'm going to pull her six more times. Sigh. Evil Darkness Dragon Shu, a form of Venoct, is a slippery ZZ rank popper and bonus ball maker. His skill is revive and soul meter fill. I got him on day two, which is why you won't see me use him against Wiss. On day 3, I got Dragon Robe Fukuri Yu, a slippery Z rank popper and healer. Her skill is a chance to heal when her large puny are popped. Death Carver's Rubius J is a charming SSS rank popper whose skill makes it easier to link his puny. Dragon Robe Uma Wyvern King is a slippery Z rank popper and soul meter filler. His skill can drop bonus balls instead of his puny. I didn't pull these yokai, but let's cover them. Dragon God Awoken Ryuda is a brave ZZZ rank extreme popper. 
His skill grows as puny faster than normal when linking. Event time. At the beginning of the map, you've got a bunch of bosses, but they only have about 2,000 hit points each. They're just here for the story. Playing the event stages is how you get Y points, and it's also how you get treasure. There are five treasure seals this event, so you're going to need a lot of drops. I get my first one after beating stage 3. You'll need to get all 8 colors for each treasure seal and you can get duplicates. There's no way to dictate what color you get other than stealing them from another player, which I'll show you later on. Stage 4 has Moximus on it, and that always tells us that we're going to get a watch part. In this case, you get the Dragon God body after clearing Stage 4. Stage 10 features Fire Dragon, and it has a specific mission to get the next watch part. In order to get the Dragon God watch band, you need to perform a 10 combo on Stage 10. Combo is when you pop a size 2 or larger puny and then do it again and again within 2 seconds each time. You retrieve the watch band from a mission. Stage 25 features Wind Dragon. Wind Dragon is where you get drops of Dragon God chips. You need five of them for the watch. Stage 36 features Illusion Dragon. This is one of the few really difficult bosses on the map. I have Dragon Robe Blizzaria, so her bonus is going to help me out. The stage is tribe restricted to brave, charming, shady, and slippery. It does not allow continues. Illusion Dragon has 154,000 hit points, does 1,209 damage every 3 seconds, counters for 1,000 damage, and debuffs. Illusion Dragon can drop Yokodori tickets, which you need for stealing, and can also drop books. Probably why they made it difficult. Stage 32 is the first hidden route. In order to unlock hidden stage 1, you need to create a size 35 or larger puny.
In order to unlock Hidden Stage 2, you need to create 15 or more bonus balls on Hidden Stage 1. In order to unlock Hidden Stage 3, you need to use an all-slippery team on Hidden Stage 2. Stage 39 features one of the longest yokai names ever. We'll call him Dragon Robe Wiss. His stage is restricted to Brave, Charming, Shady, Slippery, and his no continue. As you can guess, he's also going to be tough, but I don't have any bonuses, or at least I didn't when I fought him. DRW has 187,000 hit points, does 1400 damage every 3 seconds, counters with 1400 damage, and debuffs. This is the only stage where watch fragments drop. I went full slippery with Wind Dragon, Benok Chu, Kukuri Yu from the previous event, SS Rank Wyvern King for the passive defense skill, and Rampaging Whisper for revive, just in case. Fragments dropped much less frequently for me than the chips did on Wind Dragon. Stage 45 features Evil Darkness Dragon Shu as a non-befriendable boss. For clearing it, you get the Watch Bezel. Clearing it also opens up the route to the impossible stage. First, the Dragon God Watch. To build the watch, you'll need the band, the bezel, the body, and five chips and five fragments. The watch gives a 20% hit point bonus and 30% damage bonus to Dragon Slayer Yokai. Black Dragon is tribe restricted just like the boss stages, but here she also has six seals. The good news is that they're all unlocked by missions. Here are the missions to lock the seals and dramatically reduce Black Dragon's stats. I've already managed to get them, so it's go time. With all six seals locked, Black Dragon has 1.2 million hit points and has 1400 damage every 3 seconds. He heals every 10 seconds, counters, drains soul meters, and spawns nuisance balls. Most of those go away or are greatly lessened with the seals. 
I've brought Attack Booster Ryuda, SS Rank Wyvern King, Fukuri Yu, Wind Dragon, and Rampaging Wiss. Kind of like the team I used earlier. You can use an Attack Booster, but your Soul Meters will still be drained. You can get one or two additional Soul Smiths through before the drain if you're super fast. Oof. Just short of the KO. I replaced Rampaging Wiss in his revive for Venok Shu and made it happen using all the Soul Smiths. Took a few more tries to befriend. Black Dragon is a shady ZZ rank popper and soul meter filler with a shady unity bonus skill. Alright, collecting treasure. The first seal was reasonably easy and I had collected most of them before I finished the whole map. The second seal also reasonably easy but I got stuck with 7 items, I opted to steal the 8th to make faster progress on the next seals. Strangely the third seal was easier for me than the second, that's RNG for you. Death Carver's Hardy Hound is a charming SSS rank popper. His skill partially fills his soul meter when other soul tomates are used. The fourth seal though, what a pain. Drops were pretty consistent and at least I was grinding Y points and Yokodori tickets while trying to get them, but I just couldn't get more than four colors. This was the same for a bunch of people I know, so I think they're just super rare. Time to go stealing. To go stealing, you just select the treasure color you want to steal. Then you're presented with a list of players who have that treasure. You can see their center yokai, which allows you to try and match up favorably using tribe advantage. I don't have either of the stealing bonuses, so I just went with some pre-existing teams I had from the last Sudakai. When your yokai match favorably, you should win. If they don't, there goes your Yokodori ticket. Still, it was fairly reasonable stealing the fourth treasure I needed. While I actually did eventually get one or two of the fifth seal treasures, they were stolen before I could get a second color. It's full stealing time for the fifth seal. Notice that I started with 24 Yokodori tickets. That's a lot, but then again I don't have the stealing bonuses. I won't show you the whole thing, or rather I will, but at 50 times speed. That's because it took me 18 minutes to steal all the items. Several of them were stolen from me while I was trying to find favorable matches. Additionally, four different times I selected a match, but when I got in the battle it was a different team and I lost. It sucks. In any case, two tickets left. Dragon Robe Elder Chief Priest Wiss is a slippery Z rank popper and stunner. His skill is redrop. Almost forgot. To the point shop. It's lean in here, folks. Some rando old yokai and books, and a few Yokodori tickets. How about those event quests? First clear stage 1, second clear stage 5, third clear stage 15, fourth clear stage 30, fifth clear stage 45 without continues, sixth, play that score attack y'all. Let's check out how the new yokai perform. 
First up, Hardy Hound. Level 50, Sultimate 1. 858,000. Rubius J, level 50, Sultimate 2. Blizzaria, level 50, Sultimate 4. 922,000. Wiss, level 50, Sultimate 1. 1.24 million and a stun. Uma Wyvern King. Level 50, Sultimate 1. 1.3 million. Kukuri Yu. Level 50, Sultimate 1. 1.25 million. Black Dragon, level 50, Sultimate 1. 1.5 million. Evil Dragon Shu, level 50, Sultimate 1. 1.41 million. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep grinding, you're going to need those Y points.